Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 in our European Journeyman series at Brighton. Now today we've got probably the biggest episode we've had at Brighton. Actually it's undoubtedly the biggest episode we've had at Brighton but it could be one of the biggest we've had in a while because we could win a major UK competition in our first season in the championship at Brighton. We haven't even been at the club for more than about eight months and yet we're in a major cup final. We're going to be taking on Manchester City for the EFL Cup, having already knocked out Chelsea and Manchester United over two legs. We now have City to beat. They're the only team in the way of us lifting the EFL Cup. Um, today we'll also take on... Um, who was it we're taking on? Is it Reading? Uh, Cardiff in the championship as we look to extend our lead at the top to eight points because Swansea and Norwich have already played, they've slipped up and this could really pretty much sew up the league title for us if we can get a win today. We also have to play Sunderland in the FA Cup quarterfinals, but generally this has been an almost perfect season so far, so we want to try and keep that going against Man City today. Um, now, I am at the moment only planning to play the Cardiff game away from home and then City in the EFL Cup um, because we're going to be live coming that game, um, and hopefully that will make this episode route the right length. We then next time we'll be taking on Everton, Swansea, Bristol and Sunderland. Swansea, obviously our main rivals for the championship title. So next episode will be just as big as today's episode. So plenty of reason for you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But for this game against uh, Cardiff, we are putting out a strong team because we've got five days rest before that cup final. And I want to make sure we're eight points clear before we go and play Swansea next time out. Uh, so the team we're putting out is made up of Cooperdon, who's very much in form at the moment, and Bob who's also in form, Bueno who's not in form, um, he's going to get a last chance today, if he doesn't play well he'll probably be dropped for the cup final, we've also got Bakaria and Morris in midfield with Marin, Lambeze, Andres, Carmona and Fernandez in the back line and Omega in goal. Fernandez with the throw, finds Carmona, back to Fernandez again, Morris arriving, he can maybe strike one, instead he holds up play, finds Bakaria, back to Fernandez. ball in the middle, and Bueno does finally get a goal, we've been waiting so long for him to return to form, and I threatened to drop him for the cup final, but he has given us the lead today, and possibly secured his place for the next game. Joel, sensible forward for Cardiff, easy header for Lambeze, no pressure on him, now Pospisil, on to Cupidon, and Bomb has picked up an injury, but here's Bueno, Tackled well there, and Brown can get the ball away. And Bomb picking up an injury. I'm hoping it's a minor one and that we can give him an injection for the cup final because he's been playing so well recently. Here's Pospisil on to Cooperdon. Ball back to Morris. Over the top for Fernandez. He's got players in the middle. Bueno's one of them. He finds Pospisil, and that is 2 0. Bueno now with a goal and an assist, helping us to our two goal lead. And he looks like he might be back to the best. Fernandez just cleaning up the ball ahead of half time. Cardiff not even had 30% possession. They haven't had a shot. They've managed one at corner. They've not really been much of a threat up to now. But if we could get a third goal, we would pretty much kill them off ahead of half time. Here's Cooper down onto Bueno. Got a ball in behind there for Fernandez, who's gone for goal, but Joel with a good stop. Carter with a free kick here in the second half. Cardiff trying to get more in the game. They've had a bit more possession, but still not exactly ideal. Lambeze on to Morris. Sends it all the way back to Omego. Probably the first time he's touched the ball today. Now Lambeze looking for a ball over the top, but easily cut out by Berry. He then puts it over the top, and Cardwell's onside somehow and has struck the post there. So still Omego hasn't made a save, but Cardiff very close to pulling a goal back out of nothing. Here's Gibbs White with a corner, putting it into the near post, but easily cleared by Bakaria. Sanchez back to Gibbs White. He's got people to aim for, and it's taken an unfortunate deflection for Cardiff there and come to us at the edge of the area. But Cardiff's starting to look a little bit more alive in the second half. Just five minutes to go, and Cardiff's little revival seems to have been ended quite swiftly. Just need to see out these last few minutes to open up that eight-point lead. Here's Abbott through to Pospisil. He finds Hickman. Poor header there. And the ball over the top has come to Cardwell. He's in behind for the second time today. And we fortunately get away. We have conceded a lot of sloppy goals late on, which is a bit of a concern. It would be nice to get the clean sheets then. It looks like we might be just about to do that. But it's more to do with Cardiff's poor finishing than it is our good defensive work. But we are going to get the win. Three more points, taking us eight points clear at the top. And the perfect preparation for that cup final at the weekend. 
Well, here it is, the big cup final against Manchester City. Now, if we have a look at the club history for Brighton in their competitions, you can see they've never won a major piece of silverware. The only competitions they've managed to win are the Skybet League One twice and the FA Community Shield. So depending on which one of those you rate more highly, um, I'd probably go with League One, to be honest. Um, but this is by far their biggest opportunity to win a competition since 1983, when they were runners-up in the FA Cup. We need to hope we aren't runners-up again today. Regardless, if we don't win this one, it looks like we will win the championship. So that will become our biggest piece of silverware, and we will have delivered that as manager. Um, but if we could win the EFL Cup, it would be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic for a club that have bounced up and down out of the Premier League for so long. It'd be just brilliant to actually win a major piece competition in the season that we go back up and hopefully stay up. Now, the big piece of team news is that obviously M Bomb got injured in the last game. He's going to be out for about five or six weeks, but I have given him injections, which means that he can play today. He's not very happy about it, but it's cup final. I'm sure we'll get over it. He's going to be joined by Cooperdon and Bueno. Um, in midfield, we've got Bakaria and Morris. Uh, Marin is at left wing back, Fernandez at right wing back, with Pask, Andres and Lambeze the back three. Um, now I am not expecting to get anything out of this game, it's a free hit for us, it'll be great just to get the runners up um, on the history board, because uh, it's a competition they've never got this far in, it's our first EFL Cup final, and only our second ever major final after that FA Cup in 1983. So this is going to be a really interesting game. But given that we've beaten Chelsea on the way, we've beat Manchester United 5-1 in this competition. Hopefully City will play a weakened team. And hopefully we will be able to cause one last upset. Well, here we are at Wembley for our first cup final. The players lining up, a huge crowd for them. It's so nice that we've managed to do this in the first season. It's just totally unexpected. I was sure we were going to get dumped out by Chelsea, and I was absolutely certain. I would have put money on it that we were going to get beaten by United, but we pulled off one of the greatest results I've ever seen. And here we've intercepted the ball early on. Cooperdon back to Marin, now Bakaria. Trying to bring it forward, but he is fouled by Andy Clark, our former England captain, um, when we managed England for that short stint. He's then picked up a foul, but here's then Bomb with a free kick early on. He's found Bueno, big tackle from Yates. It could be dangerous on the counter. Fernandez has to deal with this. He's got two players coming down on him. What's he doing? Taking his time. Does send it back to Amago. Now, what can we do from here? Amago bringing it forward, drills it down the field straight to Yates. Header cut out by Lambeze. Morris to Bakaria. Now Cooperdon puts it over the top. Bueno trying to make the run. He's charging down Oblak, but it is cleared away. Here's Bakaria with the ball, though. We're putting a bit of pressure on here in the opening minute or two. Marin round the corner. Cooperdon's in on goal. He has a strike, but it's saved by Jan Oblak. So close to an early, early goal. And then it really would have been shut up shop time for 89 more minutes. But we've had the first effort of the game. And Man City in the opening 10 minutes haven't had a chance, but they've got one here with Hamilton. Puts the cross in, and it cleared away by Andres. Isaac's in there, and it's just wide from Barr. But a real chance there for City. We did well clearing it off the line, and they couldn't get the follow-up on target. But this is going to be quite an expansive game. I'm not going to change the way that we play. I'm not going to shut up shop. I'm just going to trust the players to do their job and hopefully do it well. I mean, if we could get a draw at 90 minutes, I'd be ecstatic. Here's Hamilton's free kick into the middle. Fernandez away, and Andres has pushed someone. What's he done that for? Ah, oh, he feels it's a harsh penalty decision, but we've just given City a huge opportunity here to take the lead from the penalty spot. I think it'll probably be Andy Clark to take the penalty. It is. Is our former captain going to break our heart? He does. He puts in the top corner. The England captain... With the goal in the cup final and we have got a real mountain to climb and it's such a silly goal to have conceded, giving them the penalty there. Morris has won the ball though, Bakaria then just taken out by Clark. Thompson, beautiful turn of pace, he's going round the keeper but he does make a good save there, Amago making up for his earlier, um, or not his mistake really with the penalty but his inability to save the penalty. Um, and at the moment we look like we're struggling, our average ratings are not very good half an hour into this game we've had a couple of shots one clear-cut chance right at the start that we weren't able to take but City very much in control of this game we do have the possession though which is quite encouraging if we can maybe get that ball forward a little bit more but we've got a couple of players on yellow cards now City picking up a yellow card themselves as well not the most entertaining game 
But here's a throw in for Marin. He puts it in towards Bakaria. Comes back to Marin. Bakaria again finds Morris. Can he slip a pass through? Bueno does and then bombs in on goal. And he's put it wide. I thought that was going in. Oh, such a big chance for us. Our second big chance of the game. And we've failed to take it. We've been quite unfortunate so far. But City have really not been taking their chances. Nine shots, only two on target. Hopefully we can exploit that and get a... Fluky goal, lucky goal, but here's Hamilton just before half-time. Farrington in there, and header by Clark. Well saved by Omega at point-blank point range. Had they got a second goal then, it really would have been curtains for us. But at half-time, I'm going to tell the team they're unlucky. I think that will probably do more for them, and it has a very good response. So hopefully that will G them up in this second half. At some point, we might need to go attacking, but I think that will probably lead to our total annihilation. So... If we fall 2-0 down, we will have to. But right now, I'm happy with a counter mentality. The team just struggling a little bit. They're doing better than they were in the first half on the average ratings, but still not at that seven point that I would like to see. Um, I think we might need to make a change or two. I think Cooperdon's going to have to come off. He's struggling, um, and we could... Oh, we don't have possibly still on the bench. Um, I think we're going to need to leave our front three out there. Then let's take Bakaria off. Um, oh, there's not really anybody to come on. All of our players on the bench are not that great. We can bring on a Hickman at left back, but I think that's probably the only substitute that's going to improve the team. Um, so we'll save them for in case of injury or extra time if we get that far. Andy Clark, at least, is really suffering with his fitness, which is a big help to us. And they've brought on John Bradley to try and do something. We are more into this game now. I'm going to go attacking at this point and see if it makes a difference because we've had a few more shots. It's just about whether we can get the goal. Just a few minutes left. I really don't see the point in making changes because we don't have anybody who's better than the players on the pitch. And they might be a little bit tired, but we might be able to sneak something. Here we are, less than 10 minutes to go. Pask on the ball. Finds Morris. Now Bakaria looking over the top for Hickman, but Barr gets there first. He sends it back to Oblak, who punched it forward. Now Rodriguez on to Farrington. Ball over the top for Matsuoka. And it's saved by Omego. Still in this game. That could have killed us. Omego then throws the ball out, but nothing coming of that for us. Just a few minutes left. We have to go overload now in the last two minutes. I don't think we're going to do it, though. It's going to be heartbreak for us in the cup final. A penalty as well. To lose to a penalty. Bueno puts it over the top. Oh, and he just didn't have the legs then. Bomb to get there. There's the full-time whistle. We have lost to Manchester City. Such a bitter blow. Um, to have lost to a penalty, I wouldn't have minded that they scored in open play, but a silly penalty, nothing doing. One of those that the game just likes to give away every so often. And that's what's killed us, ultimately. We held our own for most of that game, but just couldn't beat City and couldn't get the goal that we needed. And so Man City do win the EFL Cup for the second time in three seasons and Bomb's going to be out for a few weeks which doesn't help um, but we were without doubt the best team uh, or the biggest surprise biggest overachievers they've called us on our way to that final it's such a shame we weren't able to win it we've been on such a long unbeaten run it was a perfect prep as well but that penalty has sunk us and now we need to turn our attention to the leagues we've got big games against Everton and then against Swansea who are second in the table Bristol City at home also um, down in 16th place and then finally Sunderland in the FA Cup 6th round so that's going to be another game we're still in another cup competition we could make the semi-finals if we beat Sunderland which would be huge and right now I would back us to beat them because they're down by the relegation zone in the Premier League I don't think we would be in the relegation zone in the Premier League so interesting game to come in the next episode especially the match against Swansea as well do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the run to the cup final and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel but until next time see ya